everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally doing it. I'm doing my makeup inventory. It has taken me a very long time, but I have finally taken pictures of all of my makeup. I was gonna do it when I did my makeup organization video, but I decided against it. I'm glad I did, but because I got all sweaty just now, so I had to like spend some time cooling off because it is very, very hot today, but there's like clouds. So it's just one of those horrible muggy days. Anyway, you didn't come here to talk about the weather. So let's talk about something else. I have my numbers for you. I do this every six months or so. So I, and I've been tracking this. I want to say I had it right in front of me and then I lost it. I have been doing this since 2020. So I, yeah, it's been several years that I've been doing this. Okay, so let's start. We do it alphabetically. I don't say the best to last. Um, so I just do it alphabetically. If you want to click off as soon as you see, what you want to see then that is absolutely fine so let's start with color corrector nice boring and easy one i only started tracking this a year ago i actually had two last year back in june uh december i had one i decluttered one because it kind of went off and then i still have the one so that one hasn't changed at all then we move on to concealers so this one actually hasn't changed at all i have eight concealers i had eight six months ago and i had eight a year ago so a whole year's gone by and I don't think I've finished a concealer or I have and I've been buying them I'm not entirely sure I do remember but that hasn't gone up or down so that's fine I do think eight is too much especially since they're all open so I would like to start trying to pan some concealer I think what happened was I bought a bunch of them and I never put them in projects because I felt like well they would take so long to finish just one of them so I've been filtering through not filtering through, cycling through all of them in my Shop My Stash. So every month I do my Shop My Stash, I pull a different concealer. So I've been like working on them consistently month on month. So there is probably one or two that I could potentially try to pan. So one of them might turn up in a project at some point. Okay, next up we've got Cream Blush. So this one hasn't changed either. So the first three sort of products, you know, I'm doing pretty well. Um, I have five and I had five six months ago. I had nine a whole year ago. So back in June of 2022, I had nine cream blush. That is crazy. I'm wondering if I was counting the ones in my face palette because I kind of stopped doing it. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate or not but it hasn't changed in the last six months. I haven't really been interested in buying cream items because I feel like I have enough and I wanna get through what I have. So that one I'm fine with and there's nothing really popping up that I am eyeing either. Okay, so moving on, we've got cream bronzer. This one has changed uh, only the once because, actually, why did this change? Because this seems like it's wrong. Why is this wrong? Oh no, it ha it is right. Yes, I got the soul um from ColourPop uh, uh bronzer so that's why this one is bumped up okay that makes sense yeah i had four last year and no i had two only two this time last year and then i had four in december and then i finally got yeah i ordered my last ColourPop package i think came in january when did that come i am not really sure when that came but i guess i didn't count it in my december one because now i have five hmm Interesting. Moving on, we've got cream highlighter. I just have the two. I finally finished one of my ColourPop Super Shock highlighters and I do count them as cream highlighters because I think they're more creamy than powder. So I have two left. One I am working on and is almost done in one of my projects. The other one is like an icy green color. So I'm not entirely sure if I will really get into that one. That is from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. So I'm not sure. But I'm happy that it's gone down and I only have two. Um, I do have one in face palette that I'm working on, I'm trying to finish, but because in the face palette I haven't actually counted it as a single. This is a new category, eye base. I have had eye base before and they've just been lingering around in my collection, but I haven't really been monitoring the count of them because I really only had the one for the longest time, which was the NYX Glitter Glue, which I kind of, is not really an eye base, but I kind of loop it in the same category. Um, and then I ended up getting the Beauty Bay one and I used that as an eye base. But more recently I got the Gloss Gloss Bundle for the What's Your Power palette and that came with a an eye base. So now I've got three sort of eye bases slash primers, whatnot. 
So that one is a category that I want to start tracking because I have three and I don't want it to grow anymore. I think that's more than enough and I don't think it will grow anymore unless suddenly I get some in a bundle somehow or whatever. I don't think I'm just gonna buy a single eye base because I actually kind of like the Beauty Bay one. I haven't tried the Gloss God one yet. Though. On we've got eyebrow products. This is the most boring category for me. Um, I had five last, actually, no, I had one this time last year because I kind of got rid of them all because I was like, I don't do anything with my brows. And then I ended up getting a bunch of subscription boxes, which was so annoying. I don't do subscription boxes anymore. So I had five in December and I still have those five now. There is one uh, little ABH pen that I, I probably could try to project pan if I really force myself. And there also is a brow gel from Primark, which I could potentially declutter. I've used it quite a bit. Um, so maybe I could try to finish those two and I just I just don't ever think about it. So Okay, moving on. We've got eyeliner So this one is one that just keeps bumping up and I don't know why because I don't really do any eyeliner Speaking of which I did do a little bit of graphic liner. So, you know, <laughs> I'm such a liar Okay, so I have grouped in water activated liners in here because I did end up getting four of them from gloss gods in that bundle. So this is why this has gone up. This time last year I had 22, then in December I had 23, and now I've got 26. So that doesn't really make sense in terms of the math because I did gain four, but I'm only counting I gained three. So somewhere in, in between maybe I decluttered one or whatever. Maybe I did declutter one actually, but um, yeah, that doesn't math, but I have counted everything. And I don't know, that's weird. Okay, anyway, I guess I've lost one or I decluttered one. Moving on, we've got eyeshadow palettes. So this is the big one. I did something differently this year. I usually put them all on the floor and I make them all pretty. I take a picture of them all closed and then I pick, take a picture of them all open. I did not do that this year. I don't want to. <laughs> it was just too much work the previous years. So the first picture you're gonna see and so all of the palettes I'm working on in my uh, Pan Lab palette, my Project Level Up, or my Shop My Stash, uh, no Pan Lab behind. So that's the first grouping that you're going to be seeing. The next picture you'll see is everything else that I'm working on in a project, and then all the other pictures after that will be just my eyeshadows in no particular order. I haven't grouped them by brand or anything like that. Went the lazy route because I had just organized all of my makeup and I really did not want to reorganize everything once again. So let's get into the numbers, shall we? So this one has gone up as expected because I have been buying eyeshadow, but I also decluttered two eyeshadow palettes to my mom. She took two with her. She took my essence, um, what was it, out, out in the wild palette, which I had meaning to, I hadn't used in a long time and I was wanting to use it, but kind of clashed with all the other palettes that I was picking up and trying and it just got lost on the wayside. And she liked it the, when she came to visit us a year ago and obviously it was still here and I, had, I don't think I had touched it. So I said, you can have it. So I did kind of that one. I also showed her my Gloss God's new neutral palette and she really liked that one, so she ended up taking that one too. So that one I'm a bit gutted about and I might have to buy that one again. But um, yeah, she took two palettes off of me and then I did in my organization video get rid of a few palettes and I'm not counting any of those obviously in this count up. So my numbers have gone from, this time last year I had 63 eyeshadow palettes. In December I had 76 eyeshadow palettes and now I have 78 which I'm actually really pleased about. It hasn't bumped up another 10 or anything like that. Between a year though, it has gone up quite significantly. Um, however, I am trying to whittle down what I like and what I don't like. And I do obviously do no pan left behind with my eyeshadows. I really, I hope you can see, I, I try to go through them. I try to give them as much love as possible. Of course, there's gonna be palettes that I neglect or I buy and then I can't really get to for some time or they're not season appropriate for me or I don't I'm not feeling them so I don't go to them straight away but I don't feel like buying 10 palettes and then like not touching them I feel like I am using my makeup so I'm quite happy with that it's gone up like three percent but not like in a in a terrible way and of course me decluttering palettes has helped that because had I not decluttered all those palettes then um you know it would have been higher I probably will end up decluttering more palettes because 
if you saw that video and you saw my post on Instagram, you saw that I'm having an issue with some of my palettes where they're getting a little bit of mold and it's making me feel really, really yucky and icky and I'm trying to figure it out. I, it's very humid here at the moment. I've got an air purifier. I've got a dehumidifier. I've also got a ceiling fan. You know, we don't have any AC. Like most, most people don't have AC in Europe or like in the UK. So it's not like the US where every house has AC. So, you know, you kind of just have to live with the elements. And it's summer, so I'm just thinking, oh, what am I gonna do? So I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, but I probably will end up decluttering those palettes. And some of those are some of my favorites, but I think there's about five, potentially six palettes that I will declutter if um, I don't see any improvement from them. So I'm not using them right now. I've disinfected them and everything, but yeah, this number might go down, but also it might not because I might end up buying more palettes in the next few months. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't actually been looking at any new releases recently. Since the, the last palette that I bought from Odin's Eye, I haven't really, nothing's caught my eye. I literally cannot think of one palette that I want to buy. So that's a good thing. Okay, moving on, we've got face palettes. So this one, I just take everything. I, I have obviously blush highlighter palettes and I have ones that are all combined or just have blush and bronzer, whatnot. Um, so I don't split them up anyway. I just kind of group them all together. If they're, if they're for the face, they're for the face and I put them together. So I also have added cream or powder together as well. I haven't split those up. This time last year I had six because I was trying to get, I was actually starting to get into face palettes. And then in the summer I had nine and now I've got 11. Now, the two that I've ended up getting were actually from P. Louise. I didn't go out and buy them. I got one of their budget mystery boxes and it came with them, which I'm very pleased about. I mean, I've been really enjoying actually the blush palette and the highlight palette's actually been fun too. So it's really beautiful quality, but they're huge palettes with a lot of product and obviously they've made my numbers go up, so. Okay, moving on to foundation. This one I'm really excited about, not because the number's gone down, because it actually hasn't, but it will be going down because I'm working on um, two foundations right now in projects and they're both nearly done, which I'm very, very excited about. So obviously, you know, you go up and down with these things. This time last year, I had 15 foundation. Then December, I had nine and I ended up getting through quite a bit. And then the last six months, I actually have purchased, I want to say, well, it's here, right? I purchased, I mean, it's only gone up by three because I have 12 now. So I bought more than four, I feel like. Maybe I only bought four. But that's what I have right now. I've got 12 and two it should be done very soon. So then soon I'll have 10. And, and then I'm sure I can try to finish another one before the end of the year, or if not, um, at least in the beginning of next year. So, and I'm really happy with my foundation. I think they're all great. Some of them are a little bit too lighter than others, but I actually really like them. And I was just thinking today, there's none that I really hate. Normally there's a few iffy ones, I think, and I've managed to get rid of all of those. I project panned my Urban Decay, which I know a lot of people like the Urban Hydromania, but I didn't like it. So I, I met, managed to finish that earlier this year, which was really nice for me. Next up, we've got a new category, which is freckle pens. I've had two freckle pens now for a good year or so, but I just haven't been tracking them. I figured, well, let me track them. I've been enjoying it on and off doing little freckles here and there. I do have natural freckles, but they're very, very light. You can't really see them. They only come out in the summer. And then even then you can't really see them if I put my foundation on. So I like to obviously go over the freckles that are visible and then I create my own. So yeah, I've been using that on and off, so I thought I would track it. So my number is two right now. Who knows if that's gonna grow or not, but I use them quite regularly and I do like them. Okay, moving on, we've got lip balms or oils slash miscellaneous because I've noticed there's a few lip products. I'm not entirely sure. They're not oil, they're not a lip balm, they're not a lipstick. I don't know what they are. So I've kind of grouped them with the lip balms and the oils because I just don't know what they are. So um, this one's gone down a lot. I did do a big declutter uh, sometime uh, the end of last year or something. So this doesn't surprise me. So this time last year I had 21. Then the number went down to 11 in December, and now I'm at 12. Now the reason I'm at 12 is because I actually discovered a one that I thought I had lost in one of my makeup bags, 
um, and it's the pixie one, which I've had for so long. So it like this literally disappeared and then it came back. I don't know where it comes. I, 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 I feel like lipsticks and lip glosses and lip products in general just get lost and then they're found. So this one I found, I didn't actually buy any new ones. Um, so it's, it's gone up, but technically I had it all along. I just didn't know. Next up, we've got lip liners. This one, um, I've marked that I have four, but I actually, do I have four? Yeah, I have four. I have four. Okay, so this one hasn't changed. I had four last year, four in December, and four now. I actually am getting into one of them in particular. It's a BH Cosmetic lip liner. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's the shade Earth. I don't know if it still exists. Obviously, it's back when they were their own company and before they <laughs> before everything changed so I don't even know if you can even get it but I do tend to link all of the makeup that I use in my description if you ever want to see what I'm using for a video I do have it linked in every single video I've been trying to track that for the last month or two so just FYI there are affiliate links though just so you know moving on we've got lip gloss so lip gloss has changed i can't think of what how it's changed though because i don't feel like i bought any lip gloss or maybe i bought maybe i bought one oh no i think i decluttered a bunch and i bought some last year okay so this time last year i had 16 then in december i had 17 and now i still have 17 so i was just thinking of how that went up but i guess i did go to england last september and i did buy a bunch of lip glosses and then i ended up decluttering more lip glosses when i did my declutter last year so it makes sense that it didn't really change that much and I haven't bought any this year which is really cool so that one hasn't changed either I feel like I'm doing good with lip products I'm really trying not to buy anything because I just want to get through them I have far too many as it is and I had way too many beforehand too that was definitely one of the categories I've always struggled with even before I did like started my channel I just had too many products I just would buy lip products all the time Moving on, we've got lipstick. So this is another one that hasn't changed, which I'm very, very excited about. Although I'm not panning anything or finishing anything, at least I'm not buying anything, which is good. So, uh, let's see. Oh gosh, the numbers were crazy last year. This time last year I had 52. 52 lipsticks! And I'm, I'm including the lip pens. You know how the e.l.f. has the, like those lip pens and there's also a few like creamy lip pens from NARS and uh, what else have I had? Nude sticks one as well. I'm including that as a lip as a lipstick because I haven't separated it in these in any, any way in this category. So just bear that in mind. But most of them are the bullet lipsticks when I'm talking about lipstick. Okay, so I had 52 last year. In December I had 29, and I still have 29, which is still a huge number. Like that is really really big, but. At least it's not 52, oh my goodness, okay. All right, then we've got, um, what we got next? We've got liquid highlighter. This one has gone down. This time last year I had eight, and then I decluttered a bunch, and I had two in December, and now I just have the one. So I think I got rid of another one too. I can't remember what I got rid of, but I only have the one, and it is a really nice liquid highlighter and I can't bring myself to get rid of it so I haven't got rid of it there's just nothing wrong with it I'm not and I have no one to give it to you so I'm keeping it for myself because it's pretty and it's nice it's like an icy pink color and yeah I'm just gonna keep it I'm probably never gonna buy them ever again because I don't enjoy them uh so yeah hopefully I don't get any more <laughs> okay moving on we've got liquid lipstick okay so this one I'm doing really well with as well, which I'm very happy about. I feel like all my lip products are just staying even. At least they're not going up. This one I had 15 this time last year. In December I had 13 and now I still have 13, which is very, very cool. And I have the colors that I really like and I don't wear it in the summer, so I don't really have any summer colors. They're more like wintry colors for me. And I really like the colors that I have. So I feel like I, with the lip products that I have, maybe aside from maybe one or two lip glosses, which I'm kind of like iffy about, which I might end up just getting rid of anyway. Um, I'm really happy with all the lip products that I have at the moment. Okay, moving on to mascara. So this one did grow quite a bit um at some point but I go through a mascara quite a lot so I'm not that fussed about it so back in June I had six in December I had seven and now I have five which is really good so I haven't been buying any recently although no actually that is a lie I did buy one recently I think I've just been able to get through some what I do with mascara though is I try to only have one open at a time 
I do currently have two open right now, but that is for its own reason. It's it's a thing. I mean, my mom opened one when she was here, so, you know, what can I do? But normally, I just like to have one open at a time so I don't want them to dry out. So, yeah, that one I'm not worried about. I get through mascara all the time. One of them is a purple mascara, though, from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. So, technically, I only have four that I would really want to use um, because, I mean, I could try the purple one. I will definitely try it during spooky season and stuff. I'm not sure. I mean, definitely, I should probably try it for when I do purple elixirs and everything. I don't know. I haven't looked at it, but uh, it might be one that I just open up to play around with. Uh, but yeah, so I only have like four that I would technically really want to use. Okay, then I have a, like a miscellaneous category. I added this in today because I have one of the, the ColourPop face glosses that came with the Aurora palette thing or whatever, it, Aurora struck or something, and I don't know what to do with that. I don't, I don't know what it is, and I, and I've looked at videos and stuff, but I don't know how to classify it. Um, I, I did think about putting it with my primers, but I thought, no, I'm not going to use this as a primer. Is it with the highlighters? I mean, it's sticky, but could, should I put it with a liquid highlighter? I put it as miscellaneous. I literally just had the one I thought I'd have more stuff to put in miscellaneous, but I ended up not putting anything else in miscellaneous. So let me know what you would categorize that. I really don't know what to categorize that. So I've just left it as its own entity. So we have powder blush. So powder blush has not changed either in the last six months, which I'm very, very pleased about. But what I have done with my photos, which you'll notice in a moment, is with my single powder blush, my single powder bronzer, and my single powder highlighters, um, I have a few duos from Ofra and Elf and some other brands where they have maybe a highlighter and a blush or a bronzer and a blush or a bronzer and a, a highlighter or whatever other combination you can think of. So when they're duos, normally I've counted them either a blush or a highlighter, but today and moving forward, I'll count them in both categories because that's just fair. And they're more like singles as opposed to a face palette. So I actually expect this to go up because there are, there should be more than I'm counting versus back in December, but it hasn't gone up. So I'm not really sure what that means. So powder blush, uh, this time last year I had 21. And then in December I had 16 and I still have 16 now. I don't know if my numbers were a little bit off or maybe in December I did the same thing and I just forgot to tell you. I'm not entirely sure, but in the in the photo there's 16. Unless I'm counting wrong <laughs> and just let me know then it's an error of mine. But um, I would, I expected actually to go up. With powder bronzer is the same thing. I honestly expected this to go up as well because I did the same thing. I have one Ofra, um, what is it, duo that has a blush and a bronzer in it. I find the bronzer awfully dark, but you know, there is a bronzer in there, so I have counted it. I guess I did count this in December. I'm not entirely sure, my mind's gone crazy. But this time last year, I had 10. Um, in December, I have six, and now I have six. And with powder bronzers, I really have no interest in bumping this up anymore. I'm really trying to focus on finishing my Technique bronzer this year and once I've finished that I'm gonna move on to the next one because I think with powder bronzers It's one of the categories that I care about the least. I think it's really fun to hit pan on a bronzer and finish a bronzer but collecting br powder bronzers I don't seem to have an interest in that. You know, I, 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 I'm far more interested in collecting powder highlighters for some reason, whereas I don't wear a highlighter every single day, but I probably wear a bronzer more than a highlighter. I, there's something about bronzers where I don't tend to really gravitate towards, so I don't really see this one growing for a while. Moving on, we have powder highlighter. So, as I just said, this one does tend to bump up. I do I do feel like I can't resist a highlighter. I, I don't know what it is. So, this time last year I had 12, December I had 14, I now have 16. I, I'm trying to think of what they were. I mean, I do probably, I, this is probably accurate, I just can't think of what, what they actually were. I know, oh no, I bought one from Essence, which is terrible, which I might end up decluttering. I don't know where the other one came from, but yeah, this one has gone up, unfortunately. And then we've got primer, primer, primer. So this time last year I had 12, 
and then I bought a couple of primers and I had 14 in December and now I have 12 again. <laughs> so it is just what it is. It just it just goes up and down, up and down. I am trying to finish two primers right now. They're both glowy highlighter primers. They're not real real primer primers. They're more like those glowy you know, very shiny tin face highlighters. So I'm trying to finish two of those. I'm actually enjoying them. I, I really am. But when it comes to the winter time, I, I doubt I'll want to use them anymore. So I'm trying to use them as much as possible while it's summer. Um, so hopefully I can get this number down at least one by the end of the year. I think that would be really cool. And we move on to setting sprays slash mists. So this one has gone down in the last six months. And I expect it will go down in the next couple weeks or month because there is one that I'm working on which barely has anything in it. So this time last year I had four and then in December I had six and now I've got five. So hopefully I'll have four again very, very soon. It's the essence one that I'm trying to finish. And then last but not least is single shadows. So this one uh, has changed. How is this one? Oh, I, I, I do want to point out something. So when I took the picture, literally, I don't know, five minutes after I took the picture of my single shadows, I realized I forgot one. So in the picture, I know I'm missing one. At least I know. There might be other things missing in pictures if you're really pedantic and you're going to freeze the frame and count everything and see if I'm lying. I might have miscounted on, on several things, but I know with the single shadows I did and I forgot to include one. So just so you know, but I did the count that I have in my hand should be correct. <laughs> so anyway, this time last year I had 24 and then in December I had 38 and now I've got 35. So I'm missing three and I don't know what three those could be. I really don't know what those could be because I haven't got rid of any of my pastel roses. I haven't got rid of any of the ones that I depotted recently and did I get rid of anything else? I don't really think so. So I have no idea what this could be. All right, so out of 27 categories, I've stayed level with 10 of them. So that's like 37%. So I feel like that's good. You know, 10 out of 27, that's not bad. Seven categories I've actually gone down in. So that's good as well. And then seven categories I've gone up in. So I feel like my level, my level categories are keeping me pretty afloat. I just need to make sure some of those go down because then I'll be in the positive like entirely. Like, because right now I'm 50-50 with going up and down in terms of, um, you know, I've got seven categories that have gone up and seven categories that have gone down and everything else is level. So that's kind of like the defining factor. Um, however, my overall numbers have technically gone up the way that I've counted it. So, and also they just have naturally gone up. Um, so this time last year, I had 343 items. And then in December, I had 328. And now I've got 338. So it has gone up 3% from December. However, this time last year, it's gone down by 1%. <laughs> So I've gone down 1% in a whole year. So I don't know, I don't know, is that good or is that bad? You let me know, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I, I think it's kind of funny looking at the numbers that way. Um, I feel like now versus last year, I had a lot of items that I was just holding on to for the wrong purpose. And when I did my big like lipstick declutter last year, I was really able to see which shades I really enjoy and which shades I don't and I just got rid of the ones I don't enjoy and even though my collection might be around the same as last year at this point I think I'm happier with my collection which I think is all that matters so I don't really care anyway that is the video for today I'm sorry it is so long but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy like and subscribe if you would like to and I'll see you all next time bye